So to get started, we're going to grab our resistance tube that is small. Loop this around your legs and go above your knees. This is a fairly tight resistance tube. It's going to require a lot of work, but um, I'm up for it. I would recommend like uh, either light or medium if you're first starting out. The benefit of having these resistance tubes on your thighs is it won't, won't let you splay out too much. So let's go ahead and get our feet nice and stacked. They can be hip socket distance or wider. If you notice, mine are a little bit wider. That's where I'm working with my squat right now. My toes are out and my heels are slightly in. My resistance tube is just up from the knees, and I'm going to put a little bit of pressure on them to start to activate the outer thighs. We're just going to do 10. Let's go ahead, draw the tummy in. You can have your uh, hands out, hands here, or hands at hips, and go down, try to break parallel, come right back up. That was one. We're going for 10. Here's two. Really push through the hips, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, push the hips back, nine, keep the chest nice and proud, ten, nice. Now that we're here squatted and the loops are already on our knees, we're going to balance here on the left leg if you want to face you. And we're going to kick that right leg out for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Set the right foot down. Kick out the left leg. Feel this on the outer thighs for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and one, set that foot down. Go ahead, remove the resistance tubes. Let me keep my list in front of me. And from here, we're gonna do a rear delt fly. Grab your Swiss ball. If you don't have a Swiss ball, that's okay. You don't have to uh, lay on the, the ball for this. I would grab a really, really, really lightweight weight, no weights, or a very lightweight resistance tube. Here's a red one that's that's fairly lightweight. I just balled these up and set them down. Clearly the picture of organization. So option number one, you can stand on the resistance tube and just lean over and do your pulls out like this to a T. Or option number two, you slide that resistance tube underneath the ball. Very precarious. Lay yourself down here and let's raise and lower. We're just going to do five. Five. I think we can maybe do more. Let's do um, eight, seven, six, five. Draw the tummy in. Four, three, two, and one. Go ahead. Take a little mini break. We did three little exercises in that circuit. Let me start our break. We've got a 60-ish second break. Whew. Nothing like warming up with a bang, huh? Whew. So from here, we're going to go back and recommit to that same circuit. Let me know if you can see me. I think you can. Okay, good. Right. So from here, um, grab, if you want, the resistance tube of your choice. We don't have to use a resistance tube for these air squats. But if you want to juice it up a bit and you don't have dumbbells, of course, my dogs are barking. I apologize. You want to juice it up, and you don't have dumbbells, you can use resistance tubes as well. So I'm going to grab a, I've got to think about this one. I'll grab this green one. <laughs> All right, so we have a tube that's keeping our knees from going out, and now we're actually going to make the emphasis go on the up instead of the down. So stand here on the tube. <laughs> Heels in, toes out slightly, hands are nice and long and strong. Let's go down for, I want to pull my arms up to make it be a little harder. Go down for 10. Really squeeze the way up. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Nice. Go straight into those side kicks. Balancing here on the left foot. Kick it out for 10, 9, 
eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Coming here to the other side, ground down a lot through that right leg, kick it out for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All I'm doing with my hands here at my ribs and my low back is I tend to splay and kick out. And so I have to really kind of pay attention to neutral pelvis and neutral rib cage in case you were wondering. That's my little go-to. I don't want to call them a cheat, but it kind of is a cheat. All right, so now let's come back to our Nice reverse flies. If you've got your Swiss ball, grab your Swiss ball and rest the Swiss ball on your resistance tubes. Otherwise, you stand on it and bend over. Let's go out for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. There we go. Let's take a break. One minute. The key to think about with those reverse flies, those rear delt raises, I'm going to just hit my timer is that um, you want to keep your shoulders in the right spot, right? So that means you don't lift up with your shoulders by your ears. You want to be sure that you have good control of those shoulders the whole time, that they stay down and locked in place the entire time. So we're not lifting here and then lifting up. We keep the shoulders down and then lift. So this way it kind of keeps the upper traps out of doing all the work. It makes the, the lower traps do it. All right, we got another 20 seconds or so. Whew, I think people are, I think you're here. All right, now, again, this time if you want, you don't have to use the resistance tubes on the way up. I think I'm going to add a little more resistance. I think I've got a, a slightly thicker tube. I'm going to grab a slightly um, stronger resistance tube for our squats, but you don't have to. It goes, it's based on your energy level, your strength, and more, most important thing is to maintain good posture and good form, right? So grab your resistance tubes that go around your legs, which are somewhere, and let's do this again. I'm going to step on, this one's a little bit thicker. It's going to create a little bit more tension for me. And I didn't bother to put the handles on because that's just how I roll. All right, you ready? Heels in, toes out, make it tight, and then here we go for 10 and 9. Oh, yeah, that's much harder. Eight, uh, 8, I can't even count. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, really squeeze the glutes, 2, last one. Holy smokes, drop that tube. Let's kick it out to the side. For 10, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, other side. For 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Go ahead, drop the little resistance tubes, bring your Swiss ball over. We've got another round of these. So why am I starting out with something that's so lightweight at the beginning of my workout? I have a hip injury and a shoulder injury. You typically try to do the weaker spots first while you're fresh. So you guys are lucky enough to be abiding by my weak hip and weak shoulder. Let's go up for eight. Pull the shoulders back. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, hallelujah, take your break, just a minute, again, you don't have to use any weights whatsoever for those reverse flies, and you'll still get a fantastic workout, 100%, okay, oh, I'm all out of breath, we've got one more set of that, after this, I'm going to do a, um, res a resistance band, good morning, typically those are done with like a barbell on your shoulders, but I wanted to show you how you could also do it with resistance tubes, um, or you could do it with dumbbells here at your shoulders. Good, good mornings are really awesome for posterior chain, and if you know me, you know I love to work posterior chain. It helps you to stand up taller, it helps to strengthen those glutes, fire them up. Who doesn't want sh stronger um, bottom muscles? Peaches. But more importantly, when we strengthen the posterior chain, it can help to stabilize things. I'm very unstable, so um, 
with loosey goosey joints. So hopefully with these resistance exercises, it helps to build stability in your, your body. All right, so let's get going. Whew. Last set, just like this. Grab your resistance tubes, put them around your legs. Maybe. Oh, I'm, like, I'm trying to decide if I want the super heavy resistance tube. We're going for it. All right. Just 10. We can do anything 10 times. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Holy smokes. All right. We go straight into those hip hikes, not hip hikes, excuse me, kicks. So kick it out to the side. Try to have that standing foot right under the hip for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Other leg for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Go ahead. Strip off of that resistance tube. Grab your lightweight resistance tube, your Swiss ball. Press your bony landmarks, those um, hip bones, pubic bone into your Swiss ball. And let's do this just for eight. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hallelujah. That set is done. All right. So. Catch your breath here while I try to show you all the good mornings with resistance tubes. I have to put my Swiss ball here so it doesn't slide around. All right, so at first I would start out with a lighter weight one. If you have a resistance tube that's a circle, that's what I'll demonstrate first. And if you don't have one, I'll demonstrate it with the, the straight resistance tubes. So I put this resistance tube around my shoulders. And now I'm going to bend over and put it underneath the balls of my feet. This, this work is coming from the tushy and down here, your turbo jets, right? Draw the tummy in. Don't let the ribs flare. And we bring it up right here. If you want, sometimes I hold it here just to have the resistance bands not roll around. Just like that. The emphasis is on squeezing here at the top. Now, this is pretty lightweight for me. So um, I'm going to go to a heavier loop band. If you're doing the same thing from a uh, this kind of tube, you can connect it. If you have anchors like this, you can connect it and do the same thing that I just did. Or it's a little more difficult. It's a little more challenging to find it. It becomes a little bit more like a, dumb, uh, a deadlift. You, you want to keep the same kind of tension, so arms up here over your shoulders, feet pressing onto the the resistance tubes, and then you power up through the hips just like that. All right, you ready? We're going to do 10 of those because it's fun. That's that word again, right? Whew. I think I'll do it with this green one. Let's do it. Making up my resistance as, as I go because I will be honest, I typically use my dumbbells for these sorts of things and barbells. All right, you ready? Get yourself ready. Draw that belly button to spine. Keep the ribs knitted in. The knees are soft. Bend over. Don't feel this in your low back. Feel this in your tushy. Come up for one. And two. And three. Push those hips forward. Four. And five. And six. Seven. Eight. Nine, last one, ten, sweet. I love those. I love feeling that part of my leg. All right, so the next exercise that we're going to do is a bicep curl. Fairly easy. You guys probably know what that is. Grab your resistance tube, whichever one you want. Stand on it. Create the friction that you need. And then let's curl it up for ten, nine, eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Take a little break. That wasn't too terrible, was it? 
Whew. But we only get a one minute break because we've got to kill as many birds with this workout stone, right? So I'm going to clear up this space that I, these weights that I use for the squats. My mother always said, you clean as you go. Makes the job a little bit easier. Okay, so remember, with those good mornings, we really want the emphasis to be back here, not up here, right? So feel it here in the, I like to call it my trouble zone. That's probably not the most uh, gracious way of calling it. But you want to feel it in your turbo boosters right here and in your glutes. It's going to help push you off. So find those heels, push down through the heels, squeeze the glutes to lift you up. Grab your weights, your resistance tubes rather. I'm going to grab my purple loop resistance tube. It's a little bit firmer. Take it up and overhead. Oh, yeah, this one's good. Get your posture really strong. Start to feel your feet. Squeeze your glutes. Let's take it over and bring it up and over. And two. And three. Really squeeze your glutes here. Four. And five. And six. Seven. Eight, two more, nine, last one, ten, hallelujah, that's done. And now we got to grab, I've got to grab another tube. That red was too light for my curls, so let's see this orange. We got ten curls for ten. This one's hard. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Two and one. Hallelujah. That one's done. Take your break. Oh, one minute break. We're only doing that four times. I think that that was my, my sweet spot right there. I don't know if you noticed with my good mornings, my resistance tube, it was too much pressure on my neck. So I took it down to my shoulders and I held it there with my hands. That was a little bit, it felt a little more comfortable with that resistance tube because that was some pretty strong resistance. All right. So again, we've got the good mornings. Mind your form. Squeeze with your glutes. Draw, draw everything. All that energy comes up from the floor. Use your, your powerhouse to thrust those hips forward. <sighs> and let's do it. It wasn't quite a minute, but we're going for it. Get your resistance tube where you need it. Again, I'm putting it under on top of my shoulders. Have those feet under your hips. I was a little wide just then. Nice, soft knee so you can really feel your heels. Draw the tummy in. Take it down. Lift it up for 10, 9, 8, 7. Really squeeze here. Make the glutes do this work. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, Last one. Awesome work. Duck out of this. Go straight into curls. That's the super sexy way of getting out of the loop band. Just kidding. All right. So I'm doing hammer curls. If you notice leading with my thumbs, if you twist at the top, that's a little bit more like bicep curl. Actually, I want to show you the curl that I'm working on. I've got to use a lighter weight because I'm not as strong at it. So I want to do knuckles face in the heavens for this curl. Elbows in, bring it up. Four, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Last one, last one, and then hold it here in this 90 degree angle. Pull the shoulders back. Thumbs up, thumbs, palms down, up. Down, a little sneaky forearm work. Up, down, mm. up, down, up, down. Hold, don't let those elbows flare, Jennifer. Up, down, last two. Up, down, up, down. Say a prayer, let them go. Oh, all right, that was the end of that circuit. No, that wasn't. That was just our second one, Dad Gummit. And I was hoping and dreaming. Good thing I keep track. All right. So we're going to do this again. I swear that was already three. Good thing the computer tells me otherwise. Whew. 
So we're going to do that again. Can you tell I was like checking a third time because you could really tell that I did not want to do another set of these. But we're going to do it because I'm a toughie and I really need to work that forearm bicep curl is my forearms are super weak so that's why I'm trying to think about palms down. It's, it's just it's a way to hit the arms in a slightly different way. All right, grab your tubes, stand on them, create the resistance that you need. Whew, say a little prayer. Thankfully, this is the last one. Duck it under. And then let's do this. We got 10. We could do anything 10 times. Look forward, press it forward with the hips. One, two, three, four. Five, drive through the heels. Six, really feel the feet. Seven, use the glutes. Eight, nine, and ten. I guess eventually I'll get better at finding them with a straighter leg, but that I still need to bend my knees in order to stay out of my back. Hashtag goals, right? All right, get yourself set up. Bicep curls, you choose yours. I'm going to do this. Uh, palms down, lifts for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Holy smokes. Glad that those are done. All right, so now we're going to get a little bit more into the booty because that's my jam. So, what we want to do is sit down, I did just say booty, didn't I? Um, sit down, have your resistance tubes, bring them up above your knee, just like we started with before. Come down to your tabletop position. Channel your best Dalmatian dog, I guess. Draw the tummy in, and then let's do 10 fire hydrants. Take it out to the side, just like we did at the beginning, for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Press that um, resistance tube down underneath the knee. If you can, slide the resistance tube up to the foot. Now we're going to kick that foot straight up for 10. Nine, ooh, eight, seven. Try not to lean too much to the left. Five, four, three, two, and one. We're going to go to the other side. Slide the tubes up. Ground down through the right side. Pick up that left leg. Ten fire hydrants. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one. Slide the tube underneath the knee. Slide it down to the foot. Let's kick it up for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, two, one. You guys have seen my foible. All right. Take that resistance tube off. Grab another one. We're going to do rows. So we're going to do seated rows. Take the resistance tube. You probably will need a fairly tough one because this is working the lats. And your lat latissimus dorsi are usually fairly big muscles on your back. Wrap it around those feet. Wrap it around your hands as much as you need to. Sit up really tall here. It's kind of like a nice little stretch. Lean into the wind ever so slightly. Elbows in and pull it back for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right, last exercise, this circle circuit. Grab your resistance tube. I mean your resistance tube, your Swiss ball. This thing is a honker. If you have a little Pilates ball or even a yoga block, it's a little bit easier. You're going to put it between your legs, keeping in mind the further away it is, the more distal it is, rather, I'm just moving the camera a smidge, the more you have to work to really fight for that internal 
um, energy, the midline energy. So the higher up it goes, the easier it is to find the midline energy. Be knees bent are easier than legs straight. So mine are somewhat bent, somewhat straight. All right, press down through the hands, lift the ball up, and lower, and lift, and lower, lift, that's just three, and lift, holy smokes, lower, lift, five here, let's do five more, five, keep on going, four, holy smokes, three, squeeze with the inner thighs, two, Last one, one, bring the hands behind the knees, bend the knee, behind the head, bend the knees, shoot it out, bring it in, lift the head more, out and in, out, in, out, in, five more, five, squeeze towards the midline, four, we squeeze that ball, three, come on, two, last one, drop the ball, say a prayer, that circuit's done. Thank God there's only three in this circuit. And we are done. <sighs> we have a minute break. It's going to feel good. <laughs> Theoretically. <sighs> Let me know if you have any questions on this circuit at all. Um, why did I choose the exercises I chose? Mostly because they're working on things that I'm working on. Um, and... I also know that one of the folks that's in here practicing with me today is we're kind of babying some things around the shoulders. I like to do full body workouts versus just focusing on different body parts per day, mostly just because that's what I, I like to feel a little bit everywhere instead of just in one place really, really, really condensed. So let's get our fire hydrants. Can you tell I'm trying to kill some time? We got two more sets. Put that resistance tube on the legs. Here we are, tabletop position, nice flat back. Ground down a lot through that left hand, left knee. Take it out to the side for, how many did we do? I think we did 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Slide it under the left knee. Slide it down to the right foot. Donkey kick it up for 10, 9, 8, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Other side, slide it up. Hey, how's that for an almost hands free transition? Left side, take it up for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Slide it down to your right knee. Slide it down to your left foot. This is definitely the side that does not like me today. All right. Pulse it up for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Come on out of this. We have those rows. Let's get it. All right. Grab your resistance tube and my slop of tubes. Wrap it around the feet. Choke up here. We got 10. Let's do it. Actually, I'm going to double it up. See if that makes it better. Yeah. You ready? Pull it back for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Come on. Tummy in. 4, 3, Two, last one. Oh. All right, I don't think I've ever been so excited to get to the core work. <laughs> All right, here we go. Grab that ball between your legs, the straighter the legs. The harder it is, the further out the ball is from your midline, the harder it is. Let's raise them lower. Four, ten, and nine. Come on, lower, lower than that. Eight. And seven, crap, six, I'm trying not to let it touch, five, <laughs> oh, I'm crying, four, and three, really squeeze the ball, two, last one, bend the knees, bring it out and in for ten, 
and nine. Hands behind the head. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one. Oh, good thing we only have one more set. Take your break. Rest, one minute break. All the brain, the blood has left my brain and I'm running short on words. Okay. So, hopefully you felt that sequence basically from mid-thigh all the way up to just below your shoulders, everywhere in between. That's a good circuit, wouldn't you say? So, let's go ahead, get those resistance tubes ready. We're about halfway there. I'm going to pull it up. Another way that you can kind of kill this uh, same, the, that same stone is you can hang out here and do this number. But I feel like it's easier and it doesn't revolve your, involve your core as much as the tabletop position. But this could be something you're doing like if you're watching TV. I don't know if you guys are old enough to remember the thigh master. Whew, I had one of those growing up. It was highly fought over in our house. All right, tabletop position. Left knee down. Let's kick it out for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Donkey kick. Slide it down. Both legs. Take it for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Slide it up. Let's see if I can do it without hands. Nope, got to have the hand. 10 on the other side. Let's go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Oh. <sighs> Slide it down to that left foot. Last set of these puppies. We can do anything 10 times. I'm mostly talking to myself. All right. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Ugh. Take those things off. Flick them across the room. I don't want to see those for another day. Maybe two. Oh, let's do our rows. Oh, I'm so glad to cut those off. Okay. Put those things around your legs, around your feet rather. Grab and hold of your tubes. Maybe choke up if you need more. Pull it back for eight. No, wait. Did we do ten or eight? I think we did ten. All right. I'm getting tired. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four, three, two, and one. Holy smokes. That's done. Last exercise. You know what's coming. The ab combo killer. Put that ball between your legs. Squeeze for all your worth. Let's lower lift for ten. Press down through your hands. Get the shoulders out of your ears. Squeeze it towards the midline and take it down. Lift it up for one. Down. Two, down, three, down, four, come on, down, five, six. I'm rounding up because it gets the upper part of your abs engaged, which seems to be helping me fire up the lower. Last one. Now, hands behind the head, curl up if you can, bend the knees, take it out. And bring it in for one and two. Squeeze that ball. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Last one. Ten. Holy smokes. Go ahead. Give yourself a pat on the back. 
Hopefully you're feeling that as much as I am. Because we are done. According to this, it took us a little over 30 minutes. I hope that was fun. I hope you feel it tomorrow. If you have any questions or comments, don't forget to, you can always tag us, um, Jennifer Dixon or any of the other moderators here, Shay, Dr. Michelle, Deborah. We're happy to help you, and I can't wait to see you next time. Until next time, bye-bye.